Hey guys, how is everybody doing? You guys already know it's Grandma. So you guys already know it's Kitchen Talk time, okay? All right, so wow, this month is almost gone, guys. We're almost done with January. Whew, these days be flying by, I'm telling you, for real, for real. But uh, yeah, it's been a good month. It's been a really good month. I know everybody's been, you know, watching them. The NFL, you know, determining the, the getting down to who gonna be on on in, in the Super Bowl and rooting for their teams and all that. Yeah, I don't really get into the NFL. I don't really watch it. The only thing I'm looking forward to uh, is the Super Bowl. I am looking forward to the Super Bowl because I can't wait to see what kind of show Usher is gonna put on. I know it's gonna be. Um, it's gonna be good. He's gonna really put it down. I love Usher, and uh, I was glad this year that they chose him to do the um, the Super Bowl. So I'm excited about that part right there, the Super Bowl. The rest of the game, I probably um, be in my little spot watching Lifetime or a movie on Peacock or something like that. But. Um, I will definitely shut everything down when it comes to the Super Bowl time for the Super Bowl. So I'm excited to see, um, you know, what Usher's gonna do. A lot of, you know, they've been showing little clips and here and there and him getting it together and looking at his routine. I mean, he's a great dancer. He don't need to do anything but that part. And he has a really nice catalog of songs. He has some really good songs. So we're gonna see how he do this, but, um, that's it. I don't really, um, you know, like I say, get into the other part of it. Uh, I don't really care <laughs> who playing who, who doing what. Uh, Dad will try to talk to me a little bit about it. He'll come in and, you know, and talk to me a little bit and um, tell me about the school words and stuff like that. But mm -mm, that's not my thing. The, the, the halftime. That's what I'm waiting on, the halftime show. So we all made it through the um, the snow and the rain and all that. Um, we still probably going to get some more winter, you know, because this is our winter time, January, February. But, um, yeah, it's just been, it's been a blessing. I haven't had too much going on this month because I pretty much just kind of been low key, you know, staying in. And I told you guys uh, at the beginning of the month, I didn't have any resolutions, plans. I didn't didn't make any, um, you know, anything like that because I'm 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 just you know going into this year knowing what I need to do just trying to execute those things that I know I need to do, you know, with the health and and the um, the weight and health and being patient, you know, because there are so many good things that I know that I still need to uh, work on. And, you know, they say uh, like out of, out of every, you know, 100% of people that, that makes these New Year's resolution, they say usually by March, they done anyway. They don't even complete them at all. And, you know, if you're a diehard uh, exercise person, you're a diehard um, health fanatic or whatever, I don't, you know, you know you're going to do that anyway. And you're going to stick to those plans anyway because it's not like something new to you but if it's something you're just starting to do at the beginning of every year and say you want to do it and you don't have that focus then you're not going to stick to it anyway i'm the type of person i do better when it comes to as well as exercise i do better when i'm in a group setting like you know yoga or zuma or kickboxing or something like that I do better with that, but the only thing with me, you know, a lot of those classes are in the afternoons, and um, right now with it, you know, with the time getting dark so early, I don't, um, 
I don't go to those classes because like I said, by 4, 15, 4, 30, it's dark and I still have issues uh, seeing at night and I ain't trying to be over no ditch anywhere or anything like that. So I know there are, are definitely um, areas when it comes to moving my body that I need to um, need to work on. <clears throat> so that's a constant battle, trying to do that. You know, I do get out, I still get out, I still go bowling, I enjoy bowling. You know, I still do that. And, uh, you know, when there are warmer days, uh, Dad and I go take a walk or something like that. Or I just go to Walmart and walk around the whole whole store looking and, and, and catching up with friends because I still have a lot of people that I work with at each of the Walmarts. So, you know, that's my form of exercise and, and stuff like that. But, um... I haven't really, um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm working on a few projects, trying to get them together. Uh, definitely trying to, I guess I need to throw focus off in there as one of my things to improve on is staying focused and completing a project at a time instead of having multiple projects going on and I'm just bouncing from here to there. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta do better with that. I gotta do better with that and stuff but yeah that's 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 one of the things that i'm definitely working on and trying to do um i don't think anything is really too much going on i mean they still throwing the things out there here and there with the cat william thing and you know um i saw somewhere on social media and i don't know how true it is but Somebody was saying that if we all thought the Cat William interview with Shannon Sharp was off the chain, uh, wait till R. Kelly get out and do his interview that, that allegedly there's already an interview set up with, with Shannon Sharp for R. Kelly. And I think he's supposed to be getting out in a year or two. And he's already kind of secured that interview. And... Um, you know, he's going to be doing that. You know, it's it's definitely will be interesting if that interview do take place. Um, R. Kelly would definitely have a lot to say. <laughs> you know, after being locked down for so long. Uh, I don't know. We'll wait and see because for my reading that, it's still a few years down the line before that happened. Um, <coughs> let's see, what else? You know, other than that, like I said, there's other reality shows going on out there and stuff going on. I don't know what's going on with Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, I, they're, they're, they should be shooting their next season because they're done. They had the uh, reunion a few weeks ago, so they should be working on their new season. But just recently, like, few weeks ago also one of the co-stars of it uh martel hope was arrested um i think it had something to do with domestic violence or or some type of com harsh communication or something I, I i didn't really read into it too much and i wasn't even shocked when i when it popped up on my phone that's why i really hadn't talked about it it wasn't a surprise to me because Montel allegedly has a problem when it comes to communicating uh, with people because they didn't. I don't know if it has something to do with a, with a, with a female, a male, or what. Of course, we can assume. I'm not assuming anything because I don't have the facts. But um, you know, whatever is going on with him. You know, I hope he work it out. Uh, I don't wish any ill on anybody, regardless of how I might see them or how what I may think about them. Because all these people on these reality shows, just as entertainers or anyone that's on TV, they have a life. And they go through the same things that the rest of us go through. There's a magnify like 10 times because there are on a reality show to bring entertainment 
uh, to us give us something to talk about because that's what we do <laughs> we sit back and talk about it girl we'll be at lunch discussing every reality show that's on tv we'll be digesting it show by show so um you know i i can just imagine how hard that is putting your life out there but then on the flip side of that everyone that does these shows you know they agree to do these shows that's why i have to amend um commend um Tiffany uh, with Whitlow because her and Luke Lewis when they saw that this show was really getting to be too much and it was really causing some issues you know with her just having her baby and going through postpartum depression all this kind of stuff they didn't look at the money you know they they talked about it had a discussion and they they removed themselves from that and until she could focus on herself and, 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 and the baby and wherever she is in, in her um, life. They didn't look at it because, you know, a lot of times these people get on these shows and it's all about the money, the money, the money. Whoever can get the most episodes, because I think they get paid per, you know, per episode, how many times you appear in, in that show, in that episode. So, you know, at least they didn't let money overrule their mental health and what they needed to do. You know, and, and, and everybody got to get their coins and do what they need to do to get their coins and all that. I ain't knocking that at all, you know. But um, I commend her for her and Louis for putting their family first. And then you have to know that when you're on these shows, anything you do off the downtime, when, when you're not famine, and if you get caught up in a situation, it's going to go public. I mean, this is the second person on Lo uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville that has um, been involved with some type of law-breaking situation, allegedly. I don't know, has either one of them been charged with anything? Um, but there, this is the second person that actually has made the news uh, those type of reasons so it's something that um that they have to think about you know and then those shows are also good it, it empowers them it, it it improves their lifestyle it gives them the exposure that they need to um build their brand and make their brand and do all that so you know it's just it, it gets to be a lot and it definitely gives us something oh, my hair sticking up it definitely gives us something to um, to talk about. So that's what it is. But that's it. Um, Love and Marriage DC is back on. I had not watched it because it just was not. It just did not catch my attention uh, last year. I, it just didn't. Uh, you know, Carlos King has a, a podcast too, and he's on there like every day talking. He, mostly, he's been talking to Married to Medicine cast a whole lot uh, recently. He's been talking to them a lot because they got a lot of stuff going on over there too. So, but that's it. That's it, guys. I ain't really got too much going on. Just kind of chilling today. I'm going to run a few errands. I wanted to hop on here for just a few minutes. Hey, um, you know, have a great week. If you're out and about, be kind to people and be careful. Be safe and careful out there and just enjoy life. Okay? All right. Grant's going to check you guys out next time around. Bye.